I'm Coy Hudnell. I am an engineer at Holly Performance, and this is uh, Sarah, my wife, and my project car. It's Brickland. We've never had a project car before. We've been looking at trucks and cars and really didn't know what we wanted. So we saw this one on Facebook Marketplace. We'd never heard of a Brickland either. This is actually number 1,802 out of just under 3,000 ever made. It's not a kit car. It's a true North American manufactured production car. They were made in 1974, 75, and a few in 1976 before the company went under. So it's actually the only North American manufactured production car with gull wing doors. The previous owner had parked the car in 1992, never registered it after that point. We washed it a couple of days ago. It was the first time it had been washed in 27 years. So it's a little bit of a barn find for us and we're pretty excited about it. The Bricklin was developed to compete with the Datsun 280Z and the Corvette. Uh, it actually was a little faster in some form than the Corvette. I doubt it was very much faster in very many ways, but this one might be. This car uh, was quite famous back in its day. It was in several movies, several TV shows. It was that car, you know, whenever the ne next generation of something comes out, you see them in all the movies. Uh, this was that car then. The color to this car is safety orange. You get it safety orange, right? So. The paint is not, well it's not paint, it's actually acrylic over fiberglass. It's 40 thousandths thick color, acrylic color over fiberglass. That was supposed to be a great idea back in 1975. It wasn't a good idea at all, it cracks really bad. Now this car is a model number SV1. Now you would think SV stands for super vehicle or special vehicle. It stands for safety vehicle. It's got a ton of 1975 safety features built into it. I'm not going to bore you with them all. Uh, one of them that we do enjoy though is that it is a full steel frame car. It has what they, they quote as a full steel row cage. We do like the safety aspect of it too because we plan on driving the car uh, quite a bit. So one of my favorite things about the car are the doors. When I grew up in the 80s, and uh, I'm, I love Lamborghinis, uh, I always wanted a Lamborghini, but honestly, I'm never gonna be able to afford a Lamborghini. So uh, this does have doors that go up. If the doors were working today, which they are not, uh, they did work last week. A lot of things, the engine runs great. Last week. <laughs> uh, but I can't keep it working right now, but we're not too worried about it because we're going to change it all up. But the doors, if you were in 1975, you'd walk up with what I call your vending machine key, and you put it in the lock and activate the system. And then you would open the door with this rocker sit switch. That would make the door go up, that makes it go down. It's usually on an air system nowadays uh, for the ones of these that exist. Uh, the hydraulic system that the cars came with didn't last long at all. Uh, I'm going to open this one very manually, so we'll see how that goes. Doors weigh about 100 pounds. That's part of the safety feature of this car to protect you, as well as the frame being really high, kind of like in a C4 Corvette, but this is done for safety so that in a side impact, that uh, frame would protect the driver and the passenger. So that's the door up. I plan to do a complete custom interior, fabricate, design it. I've got some experience doing interior work and fabrication. I'm, I'm excited about that. I won't get into that too much right now. This is kind of cool. See the clock on the radio? It's one of those roller clocks like your grandmother had. It actually flips over little panels to change the time. <laughs> so under the hood, which this is also a factor we really like, is that it's a conventional layout. Uh, the, the 74s came with AMC engines. The 75s, as this one is, came with Ford 351 Windsors and three-speed automatic transmissions. So, I mean, it, had, it was a sports car. It had power, uh, you know, 200 and something horsepower anyway, or 100 and something, I'm not sure. 
but it wasn't a lot, but it had a V8 in it. Um, we are taking this engine out this weekend and starting the swap process. Uh, we, we have hopes of a LT Gen 5 GM engine. That's, the, that's where we're going with it. And if there's room in this little car, we're gonna try to put two turbos in there for a twin turbo system. Uh, that's, that's our hopes anyway. The transmission will be a uh, 4L80E. We've already bought that transmission. Uh, we will also, of course, have to work on the rear end, do something there, change out. Um, I have dreams of a four-link rear suspension. That's probably my loftiest of all dreams because I don't know if that will be able to materialize or not, but that's, that's, that's in the, the, the long list anyway. Uh, the, we're definitely going to change the wheels. I'd like to, I hate to even mention this, but I'd like to bring the flares out on it, but that's also on the very long list. Put some really wide tires on the back, um, but that gets into some fiberglass work and we'll see. Um, we wanted a car that, uh, if we needed to cut a hole in it, we didn't mind cutting a hole in it. So we want to make this ours, we plan on keeping it, and it's just, it, it, so we're going to customize it quite a bit. One of the main reasons for this car, really, for me wanting the car, uh, was to put as many Holly products on it as I can. I, I've worked for Holly for nearly 10 years, and I love my company that I work for, and I, I love the products that, that I help them make, uh, and I'm excited to have something now that I can actually put those products on um, and, and, and show them and actually use them. Now our goals, time-wise, are uh, to keep us moving so we don't stall out. Uh, I, I hope, we hope to have this car at LS Fest this year uh, in some form or fashion. And then uh, Power Tour next year is our, our goal. But that's again lofty, but we're, we're shooting for it. So this is Sarah and my 1975 Brickland project car. Wish us luck. I just don't know if I would head out to work in this thing yet or not. <laughs>